Greetings YouTube! Danny Staten here for the Daddy Dan Blog. You're looking at a Plants vs. Zombies number one from 2015, can you believe it? I very rarely pick up a new book as I told you before, but the cover art on this book I liked so much I had to grab it. Plus, it was a number one. I picked this book up last year on one of my many comic book hunting trips. It was only a dollar at this little place I picked it up at. I figured a dollar for a good cover was probably worth it, even though you don't usually catch me buying anything made after 1978 or 79 when it comes to collector stuff and comics or comic book art type stuff. What do y'all think? Is that not crazy looking? Blah, 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 I've come to eat you. I've come to eat you. Oh, I've come to eat you. I'm going to eat you all. And it says bully for you. I know a bully too. I know a real bad bully. Lazy. Alrighty. Let's check it out. This Dark Horse number one from 2015. And I'm going to show you the difference between the art I usually like and this stuff. Now, while the cover is spectacular, they are, once again, is that high definition stuff that you see now. Them glossy pages with that horrible shine. Not the real paper pages we used to have when I was young. I've learned to love them paper pages when I was young. I don't like this thick, silky, slick feel to them. It don't feel like a comic book. It feels like a trading card or something. It's just too silky feeling and that guy is so, so, wow. Well, this is great. The Daddy Dan has never had this book open and he didn't realize how bad this slick slick form of art was. Even though it's high definition, you can still see the image just graphically, like in a video game or something. It makes it somewhat seem like not a real comic book. Just maybe a graphic novel feel to it. But it just don't feel right. It don't have that old musty feel, and that old papery feel that the old comic, book, comic books from the 10 cent and 12 cent range back in the 50s and 60s have. I really like them much more. So, once again, I told you this probably would be a real quick one. But looking at Plants and Zombies, it's a number one Dark Horse and probably one of the newest comic books I ever purchased. But you gotta admit, for if you're doing a wall with cover art, this guy belongs on it, don't he? Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, subscribe, and please, God, ring the bell for me. And be sure to leave a comment so I know who's watching these videos. Maybe I'll send you a little something one day. Thank you a lot. Blog over.